right, ladies and gentlemen, our third bout of the evening is scheduled for four rounds in the super middleweight division. Your referee in charge is De Gene Del Bianco. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black with white and yellow. He weighed in at 165.2 pounds with a professional record of three wins, five losses, all three wins coming by way of knockout from Chester, South Carolina. It's Arsenio Hall! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner wearing the black with white. He weighed in at 170.2 pounds. Making his professional debut from Ellenwood, Georgia, he is Casey Dixon! Well, you did explain to us how the Battle of Buckhead went. Right. So, you know, and we did hear some woot woots and Roy, I saw you smile. <laughs> Because I'm saying, I mean, a no contest still is not, makes this not a debut. Right. The no contest yeah. was your debut. That's yeah, correct. correct. That's correct. Your punch will go here. Your punch will go here. Unless there's any questions, let's touch the books. Best of luck. Let's get to work. Gentlemen, I want to remind you, you're on pro. in his first professional fight in the state of Florida against Arsenio Hall. Here we go. It is time to fight. White gloves, the black and white trunks for Casey Dixon. Black, white, and yellow trunks. Red gloves for Arsenio Hall. Interesting for Dixon, as you said, Roy, he had his debut, but have you ever heard a guy be announced with a 0 win 0 start to this fight. Dixon is a powerful body puncher. Likes to use that peekaboo Mike Tyson style. Arsenio Hall with a rangier. Eight bouts, 25 rounds. Finish all three wins, as I mentioned. Paul's got to be careful. He's got to get his chin down and those exchanges. He's a little bit too straight up for, me, for my taste. Well, once, if both guys can punch you, well, yeah, this is a very good fight because they're both throwing pump. You know, they're not throwing light punches. They're both trying to bump the other guy out. And they're fighting at a close range, pretty much middle to close range, and there's not much separation between them. Yeah, and with eight fights as a pro, this makes this a, a, a very uh, strategic fight for uh, Casey Dixon. Because this guy got a ability. And I know the one thing from a young fighter, you're strong, you, you, you're used to knocking people out. When these guys are still standing, it plays mind games yeah. with you. And you start questioning your ability, questioning your power, and that can be deflating at times. And we saw that with Tommy Wu. Nice hook there by Dixon. We saw that with Tommy Wu earlier fight tonight. But Dixon is being a little bit more methodical with trying to set his up. You're not just going all out wasting them. You're only going to be when he thinks they're going to land. And that's pretty smart on his part. You know, I've seen some fighters fight better once they get that first win off them. Once they settle down, maybe even get a little fatigue. They just react a lot more. They just... Oh, Was it a body shot? I think it was a right hand. Arsenio Hall, good to continue. Big shot from Casey Dixon. You hear his corner saying, snap the jab, then go body again. There's that body shot. 30 seconds. Oh, oh snoopy shot too. I told you both of them throw a ball. Arsenio just trying to go for the knockout. You know if you don't knock him out, he's not going to win. But he's just trying to knock him out. And Dixon is doing the same thing now. <laughs> This yeah. style of fight is Pro Box TV 101. This is what we love. <laughs> it's not like they don't like each other now, man. <laughs> well, they don't know each other one. <laughs> Bad intentions and no punches and nose in that round. Thank you.
punch left to the knockdown right. And you're right, Antonio, with a body shot. Yeah, that was a street body shot right there. Oh, and he grimaced and he went down before the right hand could, yeah. could land to the head. So, Tony, that was a good call. It was a body shot. Yeah. yeah. He, he threw the right hand last, but that wasn't what brought him down. That body shot brought him down. And he didn't even throw it hard. He just. Uh -huh. That's yep. the thing. You guys know what body shots, man. Just about placement. They ought to be a surprise again. I know what they've been working on in the gym with him. I want to see him with a little bit more control. yourself and Roy and Paulie are going to do with these future stars because you were just starting to say, hey, I know what they've been working on in the gym. Yeah, yeah, we're here uh, two or three times out the week. These guys are training, and we're not taking over as trainers, but we're giving them tips from the coach. You know, and the trainers are really all for it. I appreciate it. And Paulie and Roy and I are interacting with the fans. And what we're trying to do is just give them something that they don't have now, experience. Yes, experience. Even, even when we had the opportunity to go to Tampa to watch your son spar yesterday, afterwards, Paul and I talked to him about some things, and, and I saw Junior's eyes light up. It, you're a world champion, Paul is too, but it was a different place from a different champion, and, and, and Antonio Junior took it all in. Most definitely, and that's the difference that we can make. Yes. You know, the Roy Jones walking to the gym is different. I know. I mean, these people, these kids have watched us, followed us pretty much all of our lives. They saw how we were successful in the ring, and they just look at us and say, you know what, there's a chance for me. Yeah, and I'll tell you, man, it comes from even, even the way you're coming up, I'm sure we all felt the same way. I guess I remember the first champion I saw in Houston's gym was Kevin Kelly. I was in the dressing room getting trained and getting ready to work out. And Kevin noticed me, like, with my eyes, like, hey, man, that's, that's the Kevin Kelly. That was the world champion. First champion I ever met. I just started in the gym. And he noticed it. And he was like, what's up, boy? what's up, kid? Come on, come on, be a champion. And he gave me just two minutes of his time. But for me, it meant everything. I, I was ready to give a great workout after that. I was so motivated to train after that. You know, just because he noticed me, he took the time. So, you know, it, 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 it can be, it can mean a lot more to, to, to these young guys than it, a lot of times we realize when we take the time to, to, to speak to them, to uh, give them our, to our, our tips and uh, understand them. Big finish for Casey Dixon to make it official. Once again, Mark Lichtenfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a halt at 28 seconds of the second round. Your winner by technical knockout, Casey Dixon. A lot of power, body shots into the night of Arsenio Hall, Casey Dixon, with his first professional victory. The way young fighters eyes light up when they when they meet you guys and, and Roy you talked about loving to teach and loving to pass it on there were people in your life when you were young that I'm sure your eyes lit up when you saw them. of course uh, one of being Sugar Ray Leonard first time I met Sugar Ray Leonard that's kind of one of my idols so you know you go to two knockdowns uh, Casey after him that was that left body shot right well not yet but they tied up a little bit then as Casey was stalking him there was a good body shot, and that took him down. That right body shot first. He tried to follow it with a head shot, but it didn't land. The second round, that was a great body shot, followed by a head shot. Then another body shot right in the middle of the action. The and good he, thing you like about that is that Casey considered to go up and down. Yeah. yeah. You want head right there, body there. Head Beautiful. there, body there. You feel me? He continued to go up and down, which is what you want to see a guy like him do. 
that carries him on to a lot, a lot further in his career. He was treating Arsenio like he was the punching bag, yes, man. He was, he was working up and down. <laughs> Part of the Brothers in Arms. 